All right, welcome back. Wally Shoinka finally opens up about Bihafra and Ujidua Nation. All right, on today's Nobel laureate, Professor Wally Shoinka has just sent some strong messages to the federal government concerning the recent security challenges facing the country. All right, while speaking during an interview with Arise TV, he described the country as a plane on a suicide slide considering the way people are being killed, raped, and attacked in several states and communities in Nigeria. He made it known that Nigerians have the right to speak up if they aren't happy with the, what, with the way they are passing through in the country. All right, and then meanwhile, according to him, he said Nigerians have the right to speak up if they aren't happy with what they are passing through in the country. All right, and then he added that the calls for separation by the indigenous people of Bihafra and Ojijua Republic started because the federal government have failed to address the issues the people go through. He also revealed that decentralization or restructuring of the system of government is the possible way is the possible way to overcome the violence and the crisis. He also said that our leaders have failed to provide a solution to these problems. Professor Wally Shoinka concluded by saying that Nigerians are no longer scared of the threats from the Nigerian military or police because they have to express their anger towards the challenges in the country. President Mamadou Buhari have shown their commitment to addressing these issues and needs to be strategic in bringing peace back to the southeast and southwest regions. This is an opportunity for the Buhari-led government to have discussions with the leaders representing these groups and decide on ways to improve the standard of living of everyone instead of separation. It is not about giving orders to the military to fish out the people attacking government facilities. The government should understand what they want and make them happy. President Buhari shouldn't forget that they are his people and uh, no one will choose violence over dialogue. All right, and then as it is, majority of people have been like, wow, this had been a very great word of wisdom from the laureate Wale Shoyinka. Well, and it has been asked, what are your thoughts about the suggestion by Professor Wale Shoyinka? Do you think restructuring of Nigerian system of government will end the Bihafra and the Ujujua Republic agitation. All right, and then that has been the question. Hmm. My people, majority of people have been like, wow, this was a very great one coming from the laureate Wale Shoyinka. Hmm. To me, he is not far from the facts, and then that is what Artsen God Ikalu has said. Hmm. Well, according to Nosike Ernest Namde, he has said, well, the answer is yes, and then simple, okay? All right, Sunday, Abutu has said, well, the call for restructuring Nigeria will never end. Behalf actualization and Ujujua addition. All right, I think it's time to say that the call for this restructuring will never end. Behalf agitation and the actualization of Ujujua also. Hmm. Well, that's another serious one. That is to tell you that there is more to this. Okay, Sunday, Abutu has said, well, the call, okay, that has been taken. According to Mike A.A., on this one says, let every region self-determine how best to rule themselves. This so-called federalism is not working at all, at all. Emmanuel on Uwalen on Sadbo, on this one says, very good talk. 
even a wife under the roof of a man has a right to repate if her husband is not treating her well. She may in annoyance break the television fridges, etc. in the house. If the man knows what to do, he does not declare war on her and family but seek dialogue, even though television and fridges have been destroyed. All right, according to Ogochuku, Inor says, well, let Buhari go with all his useless cabinet and chief of staffs. According to Nam De Kalu on this one says, well, the only book said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Buhari's government knows the truth, but he is afraid to face it. He prefers using police and soldiers to force citizens accept wrong policies. Except wrong policies and then decisions of his government, people have suffered and then as it is, many have died because of bad government. It does not bother him. God will judge him. That is serious. Where majority of people have actually reacted in one way or the other onto this one. All right. Meanwhile, according to Solomon Chibuna Ononji, he says, well, the noble laureate is speaking fact, but the unscrupulous elements that are bloodthirsty are clamoring for annihilation of the indigenous people and then leaving the sponsored S-men and the terrorist group in the north. Okay. Hmm. Well, Adeboya said that, well, what should be done now is to separate, let there be Odudua Nation and the Bihafra Republic, Chikena. Yes, restructure the country. This one is coming from Joseph Patunola. On his own part, he has said that word, yes, restructure the country and uh, its constitution will go a long way in solving the problem. There are about to be more than their countries. Well, if Nigeria should be divided, the people of the Middle Belt are also felt marginalized. Hmm. Are also felt marginalized. All right, and then it has said by Ajayi Omodele that well, government should set committee where Fulani Igbo and Ujujua agitation should express themselves. Buhari try in many aspects but failed to listen to his agitation. Well, lead to another problems that have been the problem all right my people in fact majority of things had actually been said onto this one well according to what has been gathered so far majority of people have said it that wale shoyinka had spoken well in fact he had made a lot of senses onto this one well what more can we say my people meanwhile let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless